Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be sharing with you just a few of my favorite things. These are products or some lifestyle uh, tips and tricks that I have been enjoying and I wanted to share with you. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. Okay, the first product I want to talk about is this toner here that I ordered from Soko Glam and it's the Claire's Supple Preparation Facial Toner. It's around $22. And um, a toner is really good for helping to prep the skin and get it ready to receive all of the remaining skincare steps that you're going to be doing. So first of all, you're going to, of course, remove all of your makeup, then you're going to cleanse your skin, and then you're going to use a toner. This one is very good, especially for in the winter time, because it's going to help to balance out the skin it has a pH of 5, so after you have um, cleansed your skin, your pH on your skin goes a little bit acidic. So you want to have something that's going to neutralize and it's going to help to balance your skin. Um, this one here is really good for the winter time because it doesn't have any alcohol in it, so there's no drying properties in here whatsoever. It does have some licorice root in it, which is also good for brightening. Um, it is um, a little bit of a thicker S or not essence, but a toner than your typical runny toner. So you can actually do the seven um, skin method, which is basically layering your toner on your skin seven times, doing seven layers. And what I do is I just take it and just put a couple of drops and um, you can see there, and then I just kind of rub it in or and then I just pat it all over my face like so. Just pat, 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 pat. And then I do it seven times. Wonderful. I like to use this one at night because it is hydrating. And then it just helps to prep the skin for your essence and then your serums and then your moisturizer so that everything works together and in sync and just helps to get your skin ready to absorb your other products and this one is really nice in that it does absorb into the skin fairly quickly it's not sticky or tacky so and there's no scent to it maybe a little light like a botanical scent possibly just very 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 faint so i do recommend this toner from claire's the next product i have is a two-part um, peel system that I did order from Sephora. This is around $42 and it's from Dr. Jart. So Dr. Jart plus Dermaclear Micro Milk Peel. And it does come with the little um, pads that you use in conjunction with the um, Milky Essence here. And you just shake it up a little bit and you would use this a couple times a week. It's very gentle. It's a very mild um, peel it does not dry out the skin. It's very it's safe for sensitive skin So if you have sensitive skin, you could definitely use it and um, Reap the benefits of it because it's really going to help to exfoliate You can get that dead top layer of skin off So that your other products are going to work better your skin's going to look better your makeup's going to lay better in this pad that it comes with is has two different textures one text one side is a little bit more textured and a little bit rougher and the other side is smooth and depending upon your skin is the side that you would use and you just soak the cotton pad with the product and then you just rub all over the face i like to use the the rougher side of the cotton pad because i like to get a little bit of exfoliation um, some physical exfoliation and then chemical exfoliation you leave it on for a couple minutes and then you just rinse it off and I um, this is gentle enough that I will use this of the morning time a couple times a week just to help um, exfoliate the skin so that's the exfoliating that I'm using every I think a couple times a week and like I said it's not irritating um, it doesn't have an offensive odor to it and it's very gentle and I do recommend that Okay, the next product I want to talk about is actually several products. So I just have this one here, but it's from Buxom. And this is this particular one is the full on full on lip cream, but I also have the full on lip polishes that I have 
really enjoyed using them. I just got these, what? Oh, let me, let me start over, start over on this one. Oh, here, do it this way. The next favorite that I want to talk about is from Buxom, and there's two formulations. One is the full-on lip polish, and the other one is the full-on lip cream. Um, I did get these all in a little kit, what, a few weeks ago, I guess, maybe a month ago, that I showed in a haul. But I have very much been enjoying wearing them. Um, you've been noticing probably in the last three or four videos that my lips have been kind of shiny when I've been doing a video. And it's these products here. I've been just um, picking a different color, just depending upon the eyeshadow that I have on for the day. But I really do like these. Um, they kind of have a little bit of a minty feel to them on the lips. They're supposed to be plumping, but I don't feel they don't sting or irritate the lips. They're just very hydrating and have a little bit of a minty feel to the um, lips. Um, they almost kind of make your breath a little bit fresh also. So hey, double benefit. And um, the one that I am wearing today is this one here, which is called a Sangria. And this is a limited edition one. I did look on the Ulta website and it's still available. It's around $20. And this one is described as a ripe berry. And I have just been really enjoying wearing these. I have one in my desk drawer at work. I have a couple in my purse that I was going to bring for the video and I forgot. They're sitting out in the kitchen on the cabinet. But the one that I have been enjoying is um, called Victoria. And that one is described as a jeweled mauve. So um, some of them are a shimmer finish. Some of them are just a high shine. And the ones that are a shimmer finish, don't be afraid because the one that I have in Victoria is a shimmer finish. And I normally don't like a lot of glittery products, but that one is fine. I don't, don't feel like I have a whole lot of glitter on the lips. Here's another one. I can't see what the color of it is though, but it's really pretty too. But I have just been really enjoying these Buxom lip glosses and I'm so glad that I got that little kit so I'm able to try a whole bunch of different colors and formulation and have been very much enjoying those. Okay, I did. I went ahead and went and got it because I wanted to show you. First, I wanted to show you the one that I had in my purse on how much I've used on it. Hopefully you can see, but I'm about down to there and only got this the beginning of January. So I've used it quite a bit. This is the one in um, Victoria. It's just really pretty. And that is this one right here. And again, that was described as being a mauve, a mauve color. It's just really, really pretty. Do recommend this. Okay, the next um, favorite I have that I want to talk about is a couple of shows, one being um, a TV show or on direct TV or cable, and the other one is on uh, Netflix. So the first one is um, aired on the National Geographic channel, so if you have this channel, uh, make sure you're checking out the show, which is called Life Below Zero. Um, there is around between 10 and 13 seasons, I think, already. So it has been on for quite some time. We just probably discovered it this past year, but we have been here lately, been really enjoying watching it. But basically, it's just about a, um, a documentary or a series um, of a group of people that live in Alaska, most of them are north of the Arctic Circle, and just how they are surviving and making a living in Alaska, in a remote area of Alaska. It's very interesting, and you kind of really get to know the people a little bit. And I do recommend it. Very entertaining. Um, does have hunting. Uh, I mean, that's basically what they're doing. They are trapping and hunting, so if you or squeamish, 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 squeamish <laughs> about those kinds of things. You probably don't want to watch it because it can be a little graphic. I mean, because they're out, they're hunting. They can't just get in the store and go to Walmart and get something for dinner. They have to go out and hunt it because they're, you know, 150, 100 miles from anybody from town. 
So it's, it's like I said, it's very interesting and I do recommend it. And then the next show that I want to talk about is on Netflix that I just started watching. My last favorites I had talked about and with an E while I finished that. And um, thankfully that is going to be picked up for another season. So I had um, someone made that comment that they were hoping that they watched it and was hoping it would come up another season and they are they are coming up with another season for that but anyway so along the same lines because you know when you watch something on Netflix they'll pop up other shows based on what you watched and this one's called The Paradise and unfortunately it's only two seasons and it's been nixed it's not going to have any more seasons but I think the two seasons so far, what I've watched is, is well worth it. But basically, it's, um, it's on a BBC channel. It's a British television or a British television series set back in the 1890s. And um, it's basically about a young girl that gets a job on at a department store called The Paradise. And she is a shop girl. Um, part of their... Um, Wages is includes room and board, so they do live, the whole group of girls that work there do live upstairs in the various rooms, and it's just all about how different things start to evolve. You know, this the uh, proprietor of this um, department store, he's really looking for new ways to increase business. He's open to a lot of um, ideas, and he's just very will, willing to try out all these new things. Like one of the things that he did was having a one day sale to um, generate um, revenue. So he did that. Um, the episode that I just watched today, he's going to add in a children's department. So, you know, it's just, um, it's very interesting to watch how a basic department store has, is starting to evolve and grow into a type of department store that what we are used to. And it's very good. I, I very much enjoy it. So I do recommend that one. And then my last favorite is an item or a lifestyle product that I want to talk about. And um, I got this because I was having a lot of issues with my back, with my shoulder, and um, I, we have, we own our own businesses and I go from business to business to business to take care of the bookkeeping, the accounting, and just checking on things. So I'm constantly carrying things with me, whether it's files or um, payroll um, items, um, bills, whatever the case may be, and plus my computer. So I'm all the time have a bunch of stuff to carry and I was carrying it in one of the bags that I got from Sephora during the VIB sale, it's just, I was thinking, man, I just really need something that's gonna be easier for me to tote all of my stuff in and out of the car, in and out of the businesses without killing myself. So I went to TJ Maxx and I found this um, backpack. It's a quilted backpack and it's from the Danskin line and the reason why I liked it is because it's nylon and it's very very light and I knew I wanted something that started out being light because I knew I was going to put a lot of stuff in it and actually this is this is pretty empty compared to what I normally have in it because I normally have um, I have my my laptop that I always carry and I have my planner in here. Um, I keep my notebook in there where I make my notes for my videos for when I have a little downtime. <clears throat> I have some paperwork in here that needs to go back to one of the businesses. Um, pens, I have some stamps, my charger. And like I said, there's at any given time, I could have other paperwork that needs, you know, to go that I have with me. And it's just very handy because then I'm able to just put it onto my back. And I tell you, it has helped tremendously. I'm so glad. This was around it's between $20 and $30. It wasn't very expensive at all, but it was definitely a 
well worth um, investment and it has a little pocket here on the front it has some pockets on the side but I mean you may not necessarily be able to find this exact backpack but I just wanted to talk about a backpack in general um, it's not just for going to school I mean I am almost 50 years old and I, I needed a backpack <laughs> to carry my stuff around so definitely if you are the type of person that you have to do a lot of going back and forth from your home to wherever it is that you're going maybe to work you could put your lunch in there a book to read whatever the case may be it's just very handy to have and I do recommend getting a backpack <laughs> so anyway so that is it for my empties not my empties oh my stars where am I at <laughs> for my favorites that's it that's the video I just did <laughs> favorites. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today and um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also to um, subscribe and to click on that little bell icon so that you're notified of all future videos. And again, thank you um, so much for joining me and I'll talk to you soon.